My name is Mateusz Szczerek. People call me Matt. Um, I'm from Poland. I'm 28 years old. Um, I came to Dublin about seven years ago. I'm a hip hop dancer, house dancer. Um, I'm a dancer in general, I feel like it. Freestyle dancing, past two years I started off house. Uh, I met an incredible person called Brian Green and he introduced me to house dance. Uh, I felt incredible freedom coming from that style mm, and a way of expression of your soul. It was something really, really pure. At the time I was, I was really into choreography type of dancing, but uh, I felt like something is missing. I, I didn't know if if I'm losing a passion for dance or maybe, you know, the love was lost. Love was lost somewhere and I needed to regain it, reclaim it from somewhere. So that style kind of brought, brought back the love to movement, to dance. <laughs> I don't want to stay anywhere for too long. I mean style-wise. I want to be overall dancer. And uh, when I feel like I'm getting grasp of one style, I want to move to another one. I want to explore. I want to be versatile. Uh, so yeah, hip-hop music moves me at the moment. House dance just gives me a uh, relief and feed my soul uh, but soon I feel like I'm gonna explore a little bit of popping as well get into that as well and mix all those styles together and uh, well depending on the day as well like there's the days when you when you just you feel like popping there's the days you feel like you want to hip hop dance there's the days you, like, you feel like you want to just do experimental uh, and depending on the track, depending on the music that I'm listening to, uh, it's always a different music. Uh, I like to call myself a music digger as well. I like to searching for new artists, searching for new sounds. Uh, yeah. I feel like through different music you express yourself differently as well. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it. I'm looking a lot abroad, like uh, Germany, Belgium, France, uh, yeah, Amsterdam, huge scene. 
I love over there. Uh, in general, I love traveling for dance. I love meeting new people and uh, getting to know new styles, new ways of movement, new outlooks on dance itself. Um, I find a lot of inspiration here as well, uh, amongst different dancers. Um, and outside dance as well. Like, I feel like um, any type of art could actually inspire you to move. Um, visiting galleries and uh, looking at different paintings. Uh, any, any type of art stimulates you in a different way. And that's just a food for thought, I suppose. And, and that translates into food for body. <laughs> I love educating new generations of movers, new generations of dancers, um, and shape shape them into uh, into strong character. I feel like dance influences people not only in, in the sense of like moving and, and knowing the styles, but shaping up the character, shaping up the person itself. Uh, it's something that I really, really love, and I. And and I feel like I want to give all my life to that, like to, to make a new generation come stronger, come better, and, and yeah, and hopefully be uh, at some point acknowledged for that, I suppose. Like, everybody wants certain recognition for what they do, and uh, the only recognition that I really want is for people to acknowledge that whatever I have, I want to give it to them, I want to pass it further. You know, it's all for us to grow, the next generation to come. Tough life, tough life, yeah. <laughs> Be open-minded. Be open-minded. Keep your, keep your spirit free. Don't let, uh, don't let the competition side of it like get into your head too much. Um, learn to be imperfect, because. From our imperfections, I, I feel like we learn the most. Like when we do something stupid, and you know, we coming up with a new movement, we innovate that scene through making mistakes. So don't be afraid to make mistakes. And uh, yeah, I feel like many people trying to be like somebody else right now. And so my advice would be like look inside yourself and really 
like uh, really acknowledge like who you are and, and respect who you are like have respect to yourself for what you do and be able to stand for it and say yes that's what I do like I, I don't really care what anybody else d is doing because because that, that's the only way of, of making something new, something innovative, something creative is to not follow anybody else but, but really look inside your soul and ask yourself who you are and what you want to do. Yeah, follow your dreams.